Hey. Hi. Don't write yourself off yet. It's only in your head you feel left out and put down on. You know those words. And if they're getting you feeling a little bit down, Kirk Cousins gave us a gift. And it's right here. It's his birthday. They let him make his own playlist. This is now. That's what I call Cousins Volume 1. And it's everything you could ever imagine. It is something that you would hear in the, the dentist office waiting room, in the frozen food aisle at Albertsons. It's a, it's a serious XM Channel 6 pop rocks like playlist. And seemingly more than half the songs are taken from old Madden games in the early 2000s that he was definitely playing. But here's my take on this. We can make the same old Kirk Cousins jokes and we can admire him for being so secure that he's going to play this for a bunch of guys on his team way younger than him who have never heard of Good Charlotte or All Time Low or Gym Class Heroes. I mean, there's a lot of humor in it. The fact that he had only 17 songs to pick and he went with Maroon 5 and Stereo Hearts featuring Adam Levine. He needed Levine in there twice. Twice. We can make all those jokes, but I think there's something going on here that is no joke. I spent the entire night last night in my LA hotel room, not only studying this list, but listening to it. And my takeaway is that Kirk is telling us something, that there are hidden messages in this playlist. It's hiding in plain sight. Uh-oh. 17 weeks in a season. 17 tracks. I think Kirk is seeing the whole season playing out in this playlist and in a sort of Da Vinci Codian way, it's all here. All the answers are here and I've found some of them. There's mysteries remaining, but let's get into just a few of them, all right? Remember, Kirk's coming off an Achilles. He's with a new team, with a new coach. Week one, track one. I think he is saying, this is Jimmy Eat World, bring it up. Week one, track one. I think he is saying to his team, it just takes some time, all right? Everything, everything will be all right. I don't think they're winning week one. I think he knows that. They're playing Pittsburgh. He says, you know, try your best. Try everything you can, but it just takes some time. He even says it there in his facial expression. I think they're <laughs> losing week one, guys. Everything, everything will be all right, but it just takes some time. <laughs> However, let's go next, all the way to week seven. Track seven. Week seven, they're playing the Seahawks at home. Next track, please. I'm coming out of my cage and I'm doing just fine. Now he's starting to play better. The killers, Mr. Brightside is perfect. Guys, I'm Mr. Brightside. Destiny is calling me. We're gonna get this thing figured out. It's initially, it's gonna take some time. Now I'm coming out of my cage. I'm doing just fine because guess what? Let's go, next slide, please. Next track, track six, week six. They're playing the Panthers, the Carolina Panthers. They're playing in Charlotte. Good Charlotte. We're going to play really well in Charlotte. We got this. And guess what? They played the Panthers twice. Kirk's got good Charlotte on the playlist twice. You think that's a coincidence? You don't know this, man. I'm telling you, it is all thing. And we're just getting started. Next track. Next track, please. The Kirk Cousins playlist. Now that's what I call Cousins. Now we're flexing on them. Foo Fighters, best of you. At Las Vegas, they go to the Raiders. What does someone who comes back from a trip from Las Vegas, a good Christian boy like Kirk Cousins say? <laughs> I got another confession to make. I got another. And I'm gonna need the best, the best, the best of you to beat these Las Vegas Raiders. And by the way, tell, tell, tell me, maybe we haven't noticed this, but he has. Can you bring up the side-by-side, -side, please? You think this is all coincidence? No, 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 no. Bring up the side-by-side, -side. Kirk sees everything. He knows what's going on. Bring up the side-by-side, -side, my love of God. I got a confession to make. I need the side-by-side. -side. This is a th deeply embedded thing in the playlist. This is something nobody's noticed. Uh -oh. it is. I mean, come on. The flowing locks, Bro. the all black, Wagner the Minshew. beard, the brown eyes. Who's that? This is Dave Minshew. No. This is, this is Gardner Grohl. <laughs> they meet somewhere in the middle, all right? <laughs> Kirk sees all of this for what it is. Let's keep going. This is not going to be all great for the Falcons. Next track, please. Three doors down. Ooh. Kryptonite. Guys, they play the Cowboys this year. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy's two and nine against the Cowboys. Two and nine. He hasn't beaten the Cowboys since 2019. I think this will be his Kryptonite. I think really though, he's going to look at his teammates and just say, "Listen, we play the Cowboys. If I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive and well." 
will you be there still holding my hand? I think he's saying that to his teammates. Next track, this is my favorite one. Next track, please. We're going to Maroon 5. I mentioned oh. them already. Next track, please. God, that picture's great. I feel like you should be holding a cat in this picture. It just looks so good. <laughs> Maroon 5, back to Washington. Very personal game for him. Is this about the band, or is it about someone that was drafted to fulfill the, the legacy he never could quite do? You know what Maroon 5 is? Bring up the picture. This is not a band. Maroon 5 is a direct reference to the quarterback he will be facing. If I could have the picture, please, in somewhere here, this is what Kirk Cousins is thinking of. That's Maroon 5. Guys, Maroon, Maroon five. 5. 5. It's oh, all there. Wow. The answers are out there. The truth is out there. Maroon 5. He's even laughing right now. Cousins is not laughing. This whole thing isn't just a little joke for you to entertain us all, blah, blah. He's dead serious about this, okay? That is the Maroon 5 I am missing. And I'm telling you, this all is, has a meaning. This is all special. This is all deliberate. Laugh at Cousins fine, but do not be laughing at the end of this when he ends up probably in the middle of the playoff race. Jimmy Eat World, Kirky Beat NFC South. That's the playlist. If you see anything else, guys, if I missed anything else, uh, please what, tell me. what about uh, when they play the Philadelphia Eagles? Uh, what is that? That's, uh, or what is that, the second week? Uh, yes. I, I was hoping that maybe he would do Green Day there. You, yes. You see, that, Interesting. That yeah, that's I, You know, I struggled with this one because I, listen, I, I, all night I did this. Green Day holiday, week three, they play the Chiefs on national. T that is the opposite mm. of a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe this might have synced up with their bye week later, but no, 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 no. That was a, uh, that was a, a Fall Out Boy song. I have no thoughts on this. If you can find any way that playing the Chiefs would be a holiday, We'll find out. Maybe they'll win. Maybe he knows something we don't know. Jamie Erdahl. Uh, I, you, you mentioned he's a good Christian man. Yeah. Uh, Stacy's mom uh, do, doesn't, doesn't ah. take us there with that. <laughs> the reason I'm a little tired today is I was up all night trying to find the answer for Stacy's mom, mom, who does have it going on. And I'm looking all for who is Stacy and who is her mom? Who does, what does she represent? What are these fountains of Wayne that I'm getting? I don't know the answer to this. This, How long this was alarming. Right. This wow. I feel like he is laughing at us because he went straight into Kyle's brain when Stacy's mom, dirty little secret, I know. I know. and then lifestyles of the rich and famous, which frankly he is constantly doing because he continues to make so much money time yes. after time after time. You're right. This feels like a bit of a of a middle finger to his alma mater because this is the song, Mr. Brightside, that Play Michigan, Michigan State. plays. Oh. Michigan plays in the third quarter. Why would you do that as a Spartan? Mm. Why? Well, well, what about and also, Kyle, offended by no creed. The no creed, I, everyone's saying, where's the creed? Where's the creed? Creed is a little bit different species. Creed is more of a dad rock, or I don't believe in the term, but they call it butt rock sometimes. <laughs> no, this is like kind of just this, I, I can't describe it any other way. Dennis Office Rock. When you're sitting there and you're filling out the thing and you're reading your magazine, they're playing Holiday by Green Day. So Creed did not fit on this. I can only hope that will come later. Mm -hmm. Those are the only answers I have. I don't have all the answers. The only answer I have definitively is that Kirk Cousins is telling us something here. If you people watching know the answers, if you can share some, please, at GMFB, break this all down. Figure out the mystery. Give it Stacey's up. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Give She's got it, it going on. Hey, give it up. Give it up for Get us out of here. Enough, of, of, out. Enough of Taylor Swift wow. Easter eggs. We are going Kirk Cousins musical playlist Easter eggs.